G'day guys, welcome back to the True Footy AFL Evolution Career Grand Final between the Collingwood Magpies and the West Coast Eagles here at the sunny MCG a rematch of the Grand Final two years ago when these two sides went head to head. Of course, Dom Sheed was the hero that day as the Eagles claimed their fourth Premiership, but I'd be interested to see the odds on this game. I reckon Collingwood probably start favourites the Eagles, in terms of selection, obviously Redden and Shuey are unavailable with season-ending injuries, but Jack Petrocelli returns from injury and replaces the unlucky Jared Cameron as the Eagles stride out in their royal blue jumper and white shorts against Collingwood, who will be, of course, wearing black shorts as they are the home team. So a little bit difference there to the 2018 Grand Final. But this is a huge occasion for both clubs and the Eagles will be going for their fifth premiership should they win today. I think off the top of my head Collingwood would draw level with 16 or would they go to 15 premierships if they win today? I'm not too sure but here they stride out. It's been a long season for them striving for redemption from heartbreaking losses in obviously the 2018 grand final and then in 2019 losing the prelim to GWS. They won't want to make it a hat trick this year. Many believe that this is the year that they're going to come into their own and announce themselves as the premiership team of the season. But the Eagles have always been kind of pesky. Obviously, that qualifying final was an absolute belter. Collingwood dominated most of the night. The Eagles emerged victorious at the end. Here we go for the national anthems. This is a big moment. I'm trying to think of who the Eagles was not a premiership player in 2018 that is playing today. Brendan Archie has been selected. Petra Celli's in the side. Oscar Rowan, not a premiership player either. Jared Brander is in the team off the top of my head. That might be fairly similar other than that in terms of the squad's Elliot Yo chance to become a premiership captain in the absence of Luke Shuey. As we see, I'm looking at the teams here. Yeah, a lot of those are repeat players. Oh, of course, Nick Nat Nui and Andrew Gaff and Tim Kelly. Okay, so there's quite a few. Willie Rioli, of course, playing his third game of the season. Tell you what, last week was an absolute arm wrestle. I'm sure the boys will be a little bit fatigued after playing in torrential rain. It's going to be a tough ask for them to come out today and start well. Let's see what happens. Come on, Eagles. Here's Hollywood taking on West Coast. Yo, goes off the ground. Finding the loose ball was Arling. The handball hits the target. Squeezes out. Oh, the Eagles are going to stride into the first goal of this grand final through Josh Kennedy. He was nearly the first goal scorer in 2018. But today, he actually puts it through the middle. The Eagles have the perfect start. Uh -oh. Those big loping handballs are dangerous. Once they do those, it's an absolute guaranteed goal. The pies are level. Well spotted there from Rioli. He's found Cripps. Can he find Liam Ryan? Oh, that is a great kick. Liam Ryan has run into the pocket well. He sees Oscar Allen leading, but he's not having a bar of it. This is his kick. Oh, I don't know if I've melted. Oh. Yikes, that is poor. Petrocelli, he loves a spoil. In his first game back, he's been awarded a high tackle here. There is a free eagle. He's messed up the kick slightly, but he's... Oh, no, it's play on, evidently. I don't know why. It is a live ball. The eagles have really made a meal of this. Well done, Oscar Allen there. Gets a hand to the ball, crucially. Or oh, she was Bailey Williams there. Gave the credit to the wrong player. Oh, Jeremy Howe was the only player who flew for that. That is disappointing from the Eagles. Duggan should find Williams. Can he go for a river run here? This is going to be a tough kick. It's a goal. He's just got it off the youngster. Gets the Eagles' second goal on the board. It's two goals to one. I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Dug out by Williams. He gets his hands on the floor. Well, the Eagles have got a bit of space here. Bailey Williams can load up. Can he do two in a row? That is a monstrous kick from outside the 50. Brilliant goal. The Eagles are dominating early in this grand final. The Eagles, 18. Winning it was Cox. Yo, with a clean collect. Oh, Elliot Yo has turned it over, crucially. 
it's going to cost them. Josh Thomas has been wonderful all year up there. I think he was top two in the Coleman last time I looked. Takes a great contested grab. And a costly mistake from the Eagles skipper there. Oh, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> Liam Duggan, can he launch? The Eagles have four goals to two on the board. They're playing really well. That is holding the ball every day of the week. Can we run into it? Elliot Yo has got a bit of space. Nat Nui's not great in front of goal. He's missed a crucial opportunity. The Eagles have had plenty of momentum. Oh. Insane. Oh, can someone pick a hole? Yes, he can. Petrocelli has taken the grab. It's his first game in a while. He had a, such a wonderful first half of the season. He should put this through. The Eagles have had a wonderful start to this grand final. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Hey, free kick for throwing the ball right on quarter time. The Eagles have denied another chance to go inside 50, but they could not have asked for a better opening term against Collingwood, who are typically a fast starting side. The Eagles have been the slow starters this year, and in this occasion, they've been up for the contest. They look ready. Collingwood just haven't quite been able to match their intensity. That should go out deliberate. No, it doesn't quite make it. Oh, he's kept it in. That is great play. Oh, well done from Andrew Gaff. And he spotted JK. That is premiership football from the Eagles. Some of the best football they've played in the best part of maybe three months of this season. JK puts the effort and makes it... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. What was I was going to say. Makes the effort count. He kicked the goal. The Eagles lead by 25. Oh, no way. Oh, it's just going to be touched through. The Eagles nearly stole another. Oh, that is a great tackle by Petrocelli. He's having a wonderful impact on this game so far. He's been fantastic at spoiling as a defensive forward, laying tackles. The kick might not have the legs. It's just been denied. It's holding the ball every day of the week. And that is half time at the 2020 Grand Final. The Eagles have been clearly dominant. And their intensity has been unmatched by Collingwood. As you can see, 21 inside 50s, 50s to 9. Completely unexpected. I don't think anyone would have expected this start from the Eagles, who have been pretty lackluster for seven or eight weeks in a row now. But they've come to play, and Collingwood need to wake up soon. Oh, I don't know about the handball there from Shannon Hearn. I'm sure I didn't press that. Had a shocking season, to be honest. Trying to hand for me. Oh, Kripa fails to raise a hand for the spoil. The Collingwood are going to get a shot on goal out of this. Oh, it's a very good kick. It's a Dom Sheed kick. Maynard, of all people, ironically, kicks a goal from the pocket. Oh, Shannon Hearn with a crucial defensive error. It's going to cost them as the spoils collected by Varco. They close within 12 points, the Magpies. Oh, I don't know if I, he handled it backwards into an opponent. But the Eagles have a bit of a break here. Josh Rotham can go for a run. And then he can send the ball in deep. There's JK. Can he get there? He can. What a, oh, it's Archie. I just assume everyone who's deep forward is, is JK. Archie hasn't had his kicking boots on for a little while now. That's an important kick for these Eagles, though. It's straight. It's a goal. Back out to 18 points. Well done, Nat Nui affects the interception. Can oh, No one can lay a tackle, that's poor. But Nat Nui could get on the end of this, he has. He's got... Oh, 
He's probably sure probably needs he a drop punt here. here. This would be huge for the Eagles. Oh, I think he's done it. Nick Natanui has done it from 55. He hasn't had his kicking boots on today. Wasted a few opportunities, but that he's launched from downtown. The Eagles have a huge break now. Adams failing to get near it, Gaz. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball. It'll be a free kick. Gaz, what do you think about that? That is three-quarter time here at the grand final. The Eagles have just got enough. I wouldn't say comfortable buffer because four goals in this game, particularly where momentum swings hard, is not that much. And we are talking about Collingwood here, who have clearly been one of the best teams in the competition. It's kind of trended in reverse of the 2018 Grand Final where Collingwood got so far ahead and the Eagles stayed within arm's reach and were able to claw them back at the end. I'm hoping the Pies don't do that to us today. To As we look at the stats, we've had 12 more inside 50s, West but the disposals, Coast, we've had about half as many and generally had less bad. possession. We've done well in the hit-out count. Uh, we've tackled well today. And, and much, uh, in terms of individuals, Petricelli in his return game has been fantastic with his forward pressure. Jack Crisp, Jeremy Howe in the back line have taken plenty of intercepting marks, and that is where Collingwood has been good, but if they just haven't been able to drive the ball inside 50 often enough. There's one quarter to go in this season, guys. Collingwood probably need to keep five or six to win. Can they do it, or can the Eagles claim their fifth premiership? Glory awaits. Who gets up from here? Back in the middle to resume play now. Spots it. He gets his hands on the footy. It's a good start out of the centre for Kelly. Oh, he's taken a good grab there. Uses it across half back. Kennedy over the. Oh, JK has plucked it. That is a poor and poorly considered kick across the back line. And this could hurt badly. It looks like he's got it. The Eagles lead by five goals in the grand final. Oh, that is an immediate response from Collingwood. This makes me nervous. Rundy's not going to miss this. He's been brilliant today. Probably been the hardest man from the Pies to stop, as you'd expect. One of the best players in the competition kicks the big goal in the grand final. The Pies get one back. He make the most of this. It's a good kick inside 50. Oh, no one can quite get to it. The Eagles would love this to go out of bounds, but he's run over the line. Chris Main has lost his bearings. He's carried the ball over the line, and it's cost them a certain goal. Mind you, it could be a handy point. Four straight kicks now, the difference. Oh, no. Ball hits the deck. Beams needs to lead. He's barely touched the ball. Oh, I don't know about that. Poor from the Eagles to mop up there. Chris Main gets the goal that he just messed up. And it's 17 points, the margin. Oh, no. They're going to steam in. Oh, that's a great tackle from Rotham. gets it out of the boot. The Eagles have just been good enough to deny with some desperate moments. Some gets the loose ball. What look like they're going to be some pretty... Uh, hang on, I need to concentrate for this. JK could put the Eagles... Oh, he's missed. It's a behind. It could be an important behind, though. It's hard to commentate when you're in the middle of the last quarter of the grand final. It's a turnover with the ball is Cox putting on the bump was Jenna. The ball spills. Who's got the ball? I can't even tell. Oh no. They're shrugging a lot of tackles and they've given themselves a free kick. This will cut the margin to 12 points with a very generous high tackle being paid to Trelaw. This is huge. He's kicked it. We've got a game on our hands. Cox gets onto the ball. Boscan Elliott needs a chance to Oh no. Oh. Very nearly didn't get a hand to it. This is going to be another certain goal. The game is going mental at the moment. Collingwood is only six points behind. Oh, again out of the centre. Here we go. A certain goal coming up. Collingwood have drawn level. I can't feel a, I help but feel a little aggrieved. I think the momentum factor in this game has gone nuts. Oh, here we go. Opportunity from Liam Ryan. Can he steady? This is the biggest kick of his life. He's put it through. The Eagles are back up by six points. The ball's not loose. The ball spilled loose. 
Oscar Allen's free. He can steady now. Can he put it through? I think he's nailed it. 12 points. With a big fist on it. Kicks in heavy traffic. Hacking it out of there. Oh, that is a great soccer. Can Petrocelli be almost the hero? Oscar Allen's kick two in a minute. The Eagles might have done enough here. They might need to change how they move the ball to increase their scoring. Barco hacking it out of there. Ran hard. Cheddar. He's been a hero all season for the Eagles. Would be up there in the best and fairest for me if I could pick it myself. His speed and his skill all year has been great. Liam Ryan has had great pressure all year and kicked a bunch of goals. Another great season from him. Dom Sheed, the hero of the 2018 Premiership, gets locked up. Nat Nui could potentially be a Premiership player for the first time should the Eagles be able to close this out. Coughed up by here we go, Nat Nui. Oh no, he's been denied. Brody Grundy's fought hard for the Pies all day. Travi Varco takes a mark and lines up. This would cut the margin to 12 points. There isn't too long left. Collingwood can't miss. He's put it through. Is there a glimmer of hope for them? He's done well. It was a two-on-one to the Eagles. Oh, and tackles galore. The Eagles are fighting hard, but so are Collingwood. Oh, Shannon Hearn. This might be one of his final acts in a West Coast jumper. He's tackled poorly. He's pushed in the back. The Pies will cut the margin to 11 points. That could be it. That could be all she wrote for the Pies. Who knows? Or it could be a crucial behind. Uh oh. Lewis Jetta has given Collingwood a huge opportunity here with a poor kick out of for goal square. Can he pull a Dom Sheed? He's pulled a Dom Sheed. Would you believe it? Collingwood closed within five points. This next clearance is huge. Oh, here we go. Collingwood surged the ball forward. They've somehow got free players everywhere. Trelaw hasn't had a man. Oh, no. Collingwood going to hit the lead somehow. I don't know how, but Collingwood are in the box seat to win this grand final after a mad two minutes. This kick needs to be straight. He's hit the post. Would you believe it? This game has so much drama. The Eagles can't make a mistake. Oh, that's it. I actually didn't hear the siren. That must have been on the siren. You're kidding me. Would you believe it? I have the siren turned out so quietly. I had no idea that that was an after the siren kick. Oh my goodness. That could not have been a more dramatic grand final. It would have clearly been the revenge for the Dom Sheed goal had Jamie Elliott hit the post, not hit the post there. He's kicked it. The Eagles have won an amazing grand final. Tell you what, that could easily go down as being just as good as the 2018 grand final. What a season from these Eagles. They've had plenty of adversity. They had no Luke Shuey. They had Jack Redden out as well. That was a wonderful effort from this team who claimed their fifth premiership and uh, considered now it'd have to be considered one of the better teams of the modern era claiming two premierships in three seasons player of the match is Jeremy Howe in a losing effort I presume that means he gets the Norm Smith medal he had 15 touches Josh Kennedy had three goals for us Youngster, youngsters Oscar Allen Bailey Williams had two goals each Tim Kelly Elliot Yo, and Petrocelli were wonderful as well particularly Petrocelli really felt his presence back in that forward line as you can see, it was a monster last quarter. Seven goals to four to Collingwood. I knew the game would open up. It always does in AFL Evo. They came hard. They leveled the scores. The Eagles appeared to have claimed the game by opening up a three-goal lead. And would you believe it? I, ha I didn't even know the siren had gone there. I was worried that would happen because I have to play with it on quiet. I didn't realize how dramatic it was going to be. That is a sensational grand final, the Eagles champions of the AFL. 
So there you go, guys. Here are the results of the season. Oh, we won't do a Brownlow medal night. Tim Kelly wins my best and fairest. That's interesting. Darcy Fort, the rising star. Riley O'Brien. This game loves their Ruckman. He wins the Brownlow medal. And Eddie Betts wins the Coleman for Carlton. And they were criticised for um, picking Eddie Betts. But he's won the Coleman in their first year and they've made the finals. But anyway... We have attracted a lot of offers. Yeah, I'll go to Frio. Nah, all right. Not even considering anyone else other than the West Coast Eagles. I'm going to accept it. I haven't decided whether I'll pursue this particular career again or if I'll start a new one for the channel. But it's been a great ride, guys. I will do a, vi a video on the drafts and trades and all that before we finish up the season. So that will be the next video. But until now, guys, let's just bask in the glory of the 2020 West Coast Eagles AFL Premiership. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next video.